Losing all my innocence, yeah, body in my Finding all my innocence, yeah, body in my Losing all my innocence, yeah, body Good morning, you guys. Welcome to today's vlog. It is Saturday. I literally just got done, like, recording and posting today's video. But I put myself together, have these cute red leggings on, little Ohio logo. The stronger sweatshirt because I didn't work out in it, so therefore I can continue to wear it today. Did my makeup nice and natural, and I actually blow dry my hair. And when I blow dry it, it doesn't, it like can dry straight rather than drying out like all flipped because it's sitting on my shoulders, so. Feeling like a woman, looking cute, Converse. Christopher just helped me take some pictures, and I got a real cute one with butt. And now we're gonna head to the dog park. We have to pick up Molly. <laughs> you wanna go back outside, huh? This is the outfit. Very cute, I think. All right, see you at the dog park. Rete, your haircut looks real nice. You got that. That fade, oh, that fade pick six. Guys, you know why it's a pick six? Because they get six points for a touchdown. Ain't that right? <laughs> Good for you, babe. For the 12th time <laughs> Come on. Converse club. Molly, get the camera. Molly. Oh goodness gracious. Oh, there she is, natural habitat. Hanging her head out the window, but it's now too close. Are you so happy the scary dog's gone? Bill! Hey! What are you doing? Are you so happy Bud's gone? Can hang out here again. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Weekend is coming to an end. It is like 7.45. And I took, well Chris and I took Bud home around noon we cleaned out his car basically I had a very productive sunday <laughs> cleaned out his car then cleaned our entire apartment because we were sleeping on the couch the whole time he was here and it was just kind of a mess so we cleaned now the cats are loving life they can roam again and yeah i just i really didn't record that record that much this weekend and it was kind of nice to just like relax with bud spend time with chris and enjoy the weather because it was freaking beautiful and today for some reason i'm assuming it's because one we've been staying up later and two i didn't get the best sleep on the couch because one it's a couch and two i had like a 60 pound dog laying 60 70 pound dog laying with me in between my legs under my legs on my side basically the entire night so i was really tired today and ended up taking a very what seemed like to be a long nap. I don't actually know how long it was, but I was real tired. Still kind of tired. I made my dinner. I did meal prep some fish for the week. I made some cod. And while I was cooking my cod, I watched, I was just kind of like scrolling through Instagram and I watched a couple people's live stories and just other stories. And 
there, there's always trends on social media, at least. I don't know how apparent it is to you guys because I don't know how many fitness influencers you follow. I also don't think it's as, YouTube has like its own trends and it's in a different way, which you guys know, I've said this a billion times, I've always enjoyed YouTube more than I've enjoyed Instagram. I'm sure it will always be that way just because I can be personal with you guys. And not that you can't be through Instagram, but this is just, to me, we're, we're a fam, you know? Anyways, I was scrolling through, reading captions, and it seemed like these a common theme is that people don't wanna be stuck in this fitness bubble or whatever it is, like their little, their niches. They don't wanna be stuck and feel like they, you know, they have to post within these certain areas in order to get likes and all of this stuff. And I completely agree, and I think that's like a very, very valid valid thing to say and people basically they went on to say that like or one of the people was talking about how fitness influencers right now they'll post like all of these you're scrolling through your feed and you're seeing all the swipe workouts because that's what's popular right now people want to be able to save those workouts and it's easier for them to just swipe and see the exercises rather than like watch a video edit or something like that and I don't post many of those because I post my workouts on YouTube and I would rather save them for YouTube than just on Instagram. But regardless, not talking just about me, just in general, like that's a common theme. If you're a fitness influencer and following a lot of other influencers, that's literally like you're scrolling through your feed and it is the same posts. And it's not that people aren't being genuine. I think it's a combination of they want to keep growing so they think they're doing what's best, which in some cases it might be. And I, I kind of touched on this when I did a live story last week, but a, I think a lot of people tend to lose themselves and they just get caught up in like, oh, these posts are doing well. Someone made this post and posed this way and that's doing well, so I'm gonna post that and record workouts at home when they don't actually do workouts at home or you know whatever it is they see what's popular what does well what someone gets a lot of engagement on and then they do the same thing if that is something that like resonates with you and you're like you already do that or it's something that you want to start incorporating and that's kind of the way you approach it then i think that's awesome but people who just like copy and just like they they want to grow and they have like the best, in, most of them have the best intentions, but then you end up just kind of losing yourself along the way. And I think that's like a very real thing nowadays. I think a lot of the people I follow, I, I mean, I, it's not even, I think, I know. I see them post about, it, they'll be like, every couple months they'll get on and say that they are a little kind of in a rut. They don't know where they wanna go. They don't know what they wanna do. And I think that all stems from people not being authentically them, which every once in a while, we're all gonna hit a plateau. We're all gonna get to a spot where we get like kind of sick of what we're doing, or not not sick, but like bored of what we're doing, and we don't know what direction we wanna go in next that will be exciting, but still aligned with what we wanna do, or if our goals change, then realign, you know, whatever. But most people, I think it's mainly the fact that they never really were doing what they truly wanted to do anyway. They were kind of just fitting the mold of what social media or Instagram wanted to see and what like their followers wanted to see. I think it's super, super important to just kind of post whatever you want. If I'm not, like I'm not gonna try to pull an inspirational big long caption out of my butt when I'm not feeling inspirational or I'm not in a place where, like this weekend, I just wanted to enjoy time with Bud, spend time outside. I didn't want to sit down and take all this time to write out this inspirational quote and try to think of like, what is something I could talk about? Like if it doesn't come to me naturally, I'm not just gonna start writing about something. I'm not gonna force myself to sit there and be like, okay, what could I write today that would resonate with people? What could I, you know, whatever, just so people will like it and whatever. With Instagram, it's different. If I do topic videos that people really wanna see and like how I get motivated when I'm not motivated or how I, you know, like stuff like that I think is completely different, but Instagram photos and captions and all of that, I just think people overthink it way too much. And 
yeah i don't know you want to have an underlying purpose you don't just want to be that person taking selfies and or not i don't know you can do whatever the hell you want really you can post whatever you want and i hate seeing like oh people are putting so much emphasis on the fact that everyone posts the same thing but you see people who are trying to grow their instagram or social media or whatever youtube whatever it is do they, there's like videos on youtube that say basically what works and especially for instagram with the algorithm there's like certain things you have to do and i think the algorithm is like kind of <laughs> forcing people into it more because they're like crap enough people aren't seeing my posts as much and then they take that personally like people don't like me or what i'm posting so i should post something like that because that post did well even though it wasn't like authentic to them if that makes sense i don't know i'm kind of rambling i just have been seeing this everywhere and my main main point i wanted to make also i haven't showered today this is like I told you guys I was tired and yeah this is just this is just me I think I do need a shower before I go to bed though because my hair is gonna be real gross tomorrow morning if I don't uh anyway main point I wanted to address is the fact that I, I've been seeing a lot of these people like five I saw five different posts or stories or live stories kind of over what I was just talking about people not being authentic everything being the same every fitspo posting the same way and captions are the same pictures are the same like the posing is the same everything's the same i saw all of that and then i saw people being fake people being there's just a lot of a lot of that vibe going around and i would be lying if i said when i scroll through my instagram feed i don't see a lot of the same content but i have like i willingly wanted to see that content like i'm following those people for a reason and i don't know i guess what i'm trying to say i don't notice that as much with the people i follow and it just comes down to the fact that you can follow whoever the heck you want i went through probably a year ago and then multiple times since then i went through who i was following and unfollowed a bunch of people that just were not benefiting me whatsoever i follow different travel accounts like vacation areas destination areas beautiful i follow animal instagram pages i follow fitspo spit i follow fitspos i follow some makeup a little bit of makeup because i think it's fun to see i love watching dance videos like love watching dance videos so i have some of that on there and the fitness people I do follow, yeah, every once in a while we're going to have same or like similar content. It's never the same because we're different people. We approach it in different ways. But there's only so many ways to do a bicep curl. And if you're in the fitness industry, you probably should be following some other people. But if you're following the right people, then it doesn't matter. And if, if you're following the right people and if you yourself are staying authentic to who you are and the content you want to put out, then I, I don't think it matters. And I just was really, it, that's one thing I really realized and it stuck out, stood out to me while I was reading those posts and the stories and just hearing about the other people talking about it was I was like, I know exactly what they're talking about because... I that's how my feed used to be and it used to frustrate me so I went through and I unfollowed a bunch of people followed new people I have a variety in the people I follow and the content I'm surrounding myself with all day because you have to take that into consideration if you're on your phone a lot during the day and especially Instagram if you're just scrolling if all you're seeing is these pictures of super lean bikini chicks and you're not 100% like confident in your body or you know body image whatever even if you are, eventually it's like, it just warps your perception of what lean is or what healthy is. And same thing, I used to follow a lot of like dessert accounts. Realized that wasn't like when I was on prep, I had to go and unfollow a bunch of them because it just subconsciously, as you're scrolling, that's all I would start thinking about. I'm like, oh my God, I want these like crazy elaborate desserts. I'm like, that's not healthy. Whoa. So I had to unfollow some of those. Like you just make surround yourself with positivity and the kind of people 
you want to have impact your life. So I'm proud of myself that I have gotten my like my feed or you know who I follow and who I surround myself with to a point where I don't really notice that anymore because I feel like I kind of post whatever the heck I want to post. I'm definitely not going to say I haven't like posted, I haven't fallen into that before because I think anyone has fallen into that. You see someone post something and you're like, cool, that did well. I can do that. And you do it. And it almost always never does as well because it's not authentic. <laughs> People already saw that. But regardless, I feel like I'm not in a good spot. Christopher just got home. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow for shoulder workout. I'm not wrong, I never get that back out. I'm not, I'm so sober. <laughs> That's really bad. I want to see you shine in the night.